Here I have a piece of paper and I challenge you to see how many times you can fold it in half. Now I don't mind if you fold it in half like a hot dog, I don't mind if you fold it in half like a hamburger, but each fold has to be directly in half. You can't fold it like this and call it a half. Now most people, well actually everybody, can only fold a piece of paper in half about seven times. So there's my first fold. Here is my second fold. My paper is now in quarters. Here is my third fold and the paper is getting smaller. Here is my fourth fold. I fold it in half four times. Here is my fifth fold. It's getting a lot harder now to push together. Here is my sixth fold. And if I put all my strength into it, I'm going to put my thumb in the middle and try and push down. But it is really difficult. <laughs> I've almost folded it in half seven times. But my question for you is this, why? Why can you only fold a piece of paper in half seven times? Now, if you would like a hint, there's a mathematical pattern I would like you to investigate. So, we're going to have a look at the relationship between the folds and the regions or the layers. So I folded the piece of paper in half once and if I open it, there's two regions. You see the line down the middle separates the paper into two regions, but when it's folded, these regions become layers. So after one fold, the paper has two layers. Okay, if I fold it a second time, Okay, now after two folds, the paper has four regions, one, two, three, four. And when you fold it up, those regions become four layers. So after one fold, it had two layers. And after two folds, it has four layers. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, here's my third fold. And now if I open it up, after three folds, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After three folds, it has eight regions, or when it's folded, those regions become layers. So that mathematical pattern there is a hint. I would like you to investigate that pattern, continue that pattern, and maybe that pattern can help you answer the question, why can't you fold a piece of paper in half more than seven times.